What if I say browser automation using artificial intelligence large language model has reached 89% of accuracy, marking a major breakthrough for artificial intelligence in browser automation. If you remember a couple of days before I talked about something called a small agent of hugging face library, which helps you perform browser automation, API testing, and also it helped you perform like searching of any coupon code, or maybe you can also just throw some question to the AI agent It's going to go perform a chain of actions to get you the response back. And also I talked about something called as model context protocol of Claude Anthropic, which helps you perform an action on behalf of the user on their real uh, devices or browsers, which is also an example called as model contest protocols, playwright uh, MCP agent, which I built, which is available in GitHub, which also does the exact same operation with the power of playwright. It does it. And you can see that all these big companies like OpenAI or Claude or Microsoft, all these companies are now targeting to uh, pitch in the AI agent so that they can, uh, they can get all those things done from their large language model for the users. Like you go and ask the agent to uh, reserve a, a ticket on this particular uh, website, it will go and do that for you. Also, if you ask to uh, reserve a table of, in this restaurant, the AI agent is going to do that for you. But in order for you to perform all these operation in a web page, you need some sort of mechanism or let the AI agent to do all these operation to make the automation happen on the web pages. And that can be done using this browser automation testing tools like Playwright or Selenium. But in order for you to make this more intelligent, you need some sort of mechanism to do this operation. And that's why we have got what is called as this uh, tool called as browser use. So this browser use is going to make this happen, the browser automation happen. So what is this browser use really? Well, browser use makes website accessible for the AI agents. That's it. This is what this browser use is really going to do. And it's going to get the power of the Langchain models like the Claude or OpenAI's uh, GPT-40 or any other model. And then it is going to uh, perform some action uh, to get the response from a given page. And then it is going to act on that particular page using Playwright. That's what it is really doing for you. So how this browser use can achieve this operation? Well, browser use combines advanced artificial intelligence capability with robust browser automation to make web interactions seamless for the AI agent. And also it uses the power of vision plus the HTML extraction, multi-tab management, element tracking, custom action, self-correction, and multiple large language model support. And all these makes this browser use to achieve all these that we are trying to do over here with the 89 percentage of accuracy which they climb and the way this browser user really works is in order for you to perform an action on the web page using playwright uh, you have to supply a few commands to the playwright which it can does the operation on the browser but for you to do that this browser use is going to do a series of operation it is going to go uh, and send a rec which is coming from the user, let's say, uh, book a, a table on a particular website, then this browser use is going to pass this information to uh, the large language model. And large language model is going to respond with a series of JSON responses. And browser is going to format the particular response and do some magic there. And it's going to uh, send the uh, request to the playwright, which is going to perform the action on the browser, which is your own browser. That's how everything is going to happen in a nutshell. So this entire code is going to look something like this, as you can see over here. So this is the prompt that is the user is going to send. Let's say, uh, go to this particular application, perform a login, and create a new user. Uh, then the prompt is going to be sent to the agent, like a task. And this is the large language model, uh, which we are going to be using, which is the, uh, uh, the OpenAI's model GPT-40. That's all. This is the agent setup. And then we pass this to the uh, agent, and agent will start running it. This is the simple code. You can see that this is the code which the browser use. We are going to be doing it. And all the operation that you are going to say over here is going to be performed for you over there from the browser use. And now the question about the accuracy of how the AI agent has achieved 89% of accuracy by the power of this browser use. So how did we get this number? Well, for that, we have to just go back to the history a bit. 
As you can see, browser use uses the Web Voyager evaluation for evaluating the accuracy of how the uh, the performance of the website is happening using this browser use. And this Web Voyager, so what is this particular Web Voyager? If you just go to the original repository of the Web Voyager over there, you can notice that Web Voyager was the one which was mainly used for building an end-to-end -end web agent with the large language models. And you'll also notice that once a user sends a query, it's going to be returning you an answer based on some observations. And this is going to be sent as a chain of thoughts for the, uh, for the large language model. And it's going to perform an action based on the thoughts that it is going to be doing. So you can see that this is again coming from uh, a paper, uh, which is this one, Web Voyager, building an end-to-end -end web agent with a large language model, which is the foundation of all these things that we are seeing today with the browser use. I mean, we are going to be seeing today in the browser use. So as you can see, this has laid a foundation for uh, the benchmark of how and large language models agent can perform an action on a browser with 89% of accuracy. So I'm gonna quickly show you all these operation in action with the code and I will show you how awesome it is. But for that, just a disclaimer, you need to have an open AI uh, key, which is the API key, because without that you can't really execute this code. And the reason why you need the API key is because uh, you need to talk with the agent which is running on the cloud on the uh, open AI side. And again, uh, this particular 89% of accuracy is achieved by the browser use using the GPT-40 model. That is the major thing that we have to uh, just understand because if you try to use any other model, I see that the browser use is just poorly performing. And also, I tried using my local large language model using this browser use and I abruptly failed. I'll show you this details on a separate video, but for now, just let's use the GPT-40 model. So if you remember a couple of days before, while well, I was talking about the smalls agent of the Hugging Face library, in order to perform an action on uh, a website, let's say Selenium test to run on the uh, in a headful mode for this particular website, and then I asked you to navigate to the employee list, and then I asked you to create a new user with some realistic data. And I told like all the steps over here for the uh, for the agent to perform the operation, like step by step uh, operation, uh, sub by sub action to perform on the particular website. Right? This is how I told in the uh, in the small agent, and it was just working fine as well after a couple of retries that it took. But now with the browser use over here you can see that the things are going to be a bit more different comparatively. When I say a bit more different, you can see that um, I'm using the chat uh, OpenAI class of the lang chain over here. Uh, and then I'm also using the GPT-40 model and I'm trying to run this particular code. And while I try to run this particular code, you will notice that all I'm saying is go to this particular application, perform a login operation, that's all, that's what I'm saying as a command. And I'm saying, then create a new user with some realistic data, then log off from the site. I'm not telling that you should go to the employee list page and click the create new button. And I'm also not saying that you should be uh, filling the form over there. I'm just saying, just go to this particular website, perform a login, and create a new user with some realistic data and then log off from the site. That's all, that is what I'm really telling this, to this particular agent. And we will see that how browser use is going to do all these magic for us so intelligently uh, with the power of this large language model. So in order for me to run that, I'm gonna open a terminal over here uh, and I'm going to say uh, Python 3 uh, browser use a demo. I also tried with a, with a large language model running in my local machine and I failed abruptly, which I'm gonna create a separate video. But here I'm actually using the open AI model. So you will notice that uh, it is uh, it has opened a browser uh, and it is now trying to uh, run the, the code that we have specified over here. So you'll notice that it is doing that. It's just going to this particular website and it should click the login as you can see over here, just doing that. And you see that there's a step running as well over here. And now it's gonna perform a login operation. And you see that so visually, it's just finding all these fine details of the particular uh, particular text box as entering the username and password. I did not again say the username and password. It just got the admin as the username and password as password, which is amazing. And see that now it's trying to create a user and it doesn't know like which page it has to go. So it is going every single menu to see if it can able to achieve that operation. 
So it went to the manage user, didn't find the way to create a user. And then it went to the uh, um, uh, to the employee detail. It couldn't be able to find any detail to create a user. Now it went to the employee list. And now you see that there is a create new button. I think this time it's going to create a user. As you can see over here, it is creating the user. It's so intelligent. It's just going way beyond uh, the uh, the way that the people can actually do it from the, from the artificial intelligence. It, this is pretty amazing and see that now it has created a user and it's going to go hit the log off button because I told it to log off as well and you will notice that it is going to go and do that log off operation for us so it has did so many uh, like uh, so many turns and twists uh, to make this happen and finally it could able to achieve the entire operation that we have told the agent to do it and you see that right now, just let's uh, let's go behind like what is even happening over here on the agent. You can see that it has took so many steps over here, like step one to open the browser and step two uh, to navigate to the site, uh, step three uh, to reach to the login page and it has got success. Uh, and then step four, it is trying to do again and then it's going to the manage user uh, page and then uh, it couldn't find the create user there and then it is going to the another page uh, and it couldn't able to find the create user and finally it found the create new button in one of the pages the employee list page and finally uh, the user has been created uh, and you can see that it has also successfully logged off from the website and you can see the task has completed successfully. So these are the things really happened over here. You can actually export all these informations as well from the uh, from the agent itself, which we'll be talking about in a separate video. But yeah, you can see that this agent with the browser use, you can able to perform all the operation with just few commands over there. Then compared to the small agent where I have to uh, give like a step-by-step -step action where it has to perform all these operation. Uh, now I have reduced the the prompt even further and you can see that the agent has successfully completed all this operation with the use of browser use. You remember a couple of days before uh, ChatGPT also released something called as the operator. This browser use performance is even better than the ChatGPT's uh, operator itself as you can see in the percentage over here. Which is amazing. That's it guys. Just let me know your thoughts about all these things which is happening in the in the in the era of AI agent. What do you think about all these things? Let me know your thoughts in the comments below. We'll talk about even more agents details in our upcoming videos of this XZ Automation channel. Once again, thank you so much for watching this video and you guys have a great day.